Hey guys, well, I'm over at my mom and dad's right now, and uh, I'm going to take you on a little trip. Um, a couple months back, my dad went back into the woods with his tractor to go and get uh, a load of wood for the um, wood furnacer, and uh, he broke through the ice, and the tractor's been there since November. It is now March 9th, I believe. So, the creek is thawing out, or the creek is thawing out, and the way my dad's telling me is the tractor's underwater. Let's go see. Okay, guys, well, I am down in the woods now on my parents' property. I came from over there, down this trail here on my four wheeler. This is the creek, and it's really high right now. Usually it's half that height. And it goes around, and oh, what's this? 1942 Ford that was running beautiful just put $900 into it before it sank into the creek I have a feeling that it's not going to be the way it was yeah I think she shot So, yeah, that's what happens when you let senile people drive a tractor. <laughs> and it continues down there. So, yeah, I thought you guys might want to see that. really bothers me too because uh, I was supposed to get the tractor when my dad died and now I don't really want it I have a feeling that it's not going to run that it's going to have a lot of problems there's going to be a lot of uh, water and places there ain't supposed to have water so it's a big disappointment it's really sad too because it put a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears on that tractor, and he just takes it for granted and says, "How with it? Oh, it'll be fine. Let's wait till spring thaw. We'll come down here and pull it out." Well, it's spring thaw, and it ain't coming out. I imagine it won't come out until that creek goes down a good couple feet, two feet, three feet maybe. Because it ain't completely thawed out yet. I mean, you can see the ice going around it yet. And, uh, yeah, I don't think it's all thawed out. So I think it's going to take a lot of work to get it, to get it out.